Um, hello everyone. Today um, I'm gonna show you how to gonna show you how to create access server. Access server is uh, another switch or router we created to switch between a router without a need to uh, to configure or to access every single router. Um, before we do it, first of all, we have to create what we call uh, a loopback adapter. It's Microsoft loopback ad adapter. The way we do it, you just go to uh, my computer, my c computer. Right click on it, click manage. Then click device manager. Right click on a name. Click add legacy hardware. Then once you get here, click next. It'll, uh, you get a question asking you to what do you want the weather to do? Choose the second one, which is says uh, install the hardware that are manually selected from the list. Advance. Click next. Uh, scroll down till you get to network adapter adapters. Click next then wait it to retrieve it was quick so click on microsoft on the right hand side scroll down till you see microsoft loopback adapter click next just click next it take you straight to creating a loopback microsoft loopback adapter because i've got one already so i don't need to create it so close the one go to control panel Go to network and internet. Go to network and sharing center. Uh, on the left hand side, you see change adapter settings. Click on it. Uh, before you create this, go to wireless network co connection, which is uh, the one I'm using. Uh, right click on it. Go to properties. You see here sharing. Just uh, Tick, allow other network users to connect through this computer internet connection, because mine is done already. Then scroll down till you see Microsoft Loopback uh, 1, and click OK. Go back to your Loopback properties. Um, double click on Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP version 4, double click on it. You see this, uh, choose use the following IP address. As you can see, mine is 192.168.1371 and the subnet mod is 255.255.255.0. So click OK. Let's go back to GNS3. So track one of the router, right click on it, configure R1. Click on a slot, choose one of the slot here. I choose uh, the 16 one. I usually use it if I want to use the router as a switch. Then drag the cloud. Uh, right click on it. Click configure. Double click on C1. Then you see this list. Choose for the ones with uh, mine on uh, the end of it says Microsoft a loopback one click on it add click add then apply okay so click on this one choose manual for the sake of this tutorial let's choose uh, fast ethernet 00 click on this one as you can see it is uh, uh <coughs> <coughs> sorry then we drag to another routers. Right click on it as we did with the first one. R2. Slot. Let's choose uh, fast ethernet. Or serial port. Let's say. The other one as well. Configure. R3. Slot.
click OK. Then let's choose uh, Serial. Let's go to start our router. Right click again, the console. Once the router is started, go to config T. We give it a name. We call it access. Access, uh, access server. Then we go to interface fast zero zero. Give it an IP address. The our loadback was uh, one nine two one six eight one three seven one. So we give this one one nine two one six eight one three seven uh, two. Then he's gonna ask us for a subnet mask two five five two five five. Two five five zero. We click, then no shut or no shut down. Uh, exit. So what we're gonna do right now is to try to to ping our loop back. It's one nine two one six eight one three seven is one. As you can see, was a success. So now we're going to try to create our um, access server to connect with the other uh, router. The way we do it is just config T. We do it from a global configuration. Then click IP host. It's going to ask us for a word. Let's say our router 2. It's gonna ask us for the name for uh, for the default terminal port number. So the way we do it, just right click on it on uh, router two, change console port. As you can see, click on it. It gives you the name, the, the the number of the port. So it's 2002. We go back to our router. So it's 2002. Then we put the the IP address of our adapter, the loopback adapter. One three seven uh, one. We do the same with uh, the with router three. Just choose right click on it. Change the console port two thousand three. OK. So let's exit now. Uh, save our running config. So let's try to go to router. Before that, we have to start the router first. So right click, start, start as well. So, router 2. <laughs> As you can see, we are in router 2. Um, so, you can see we are router 2. Inside, we can do whatever we want. Configure the uh, T. So, we can configure it. If we want to go, go, go back to our access server, the way we do it, just uh, click Control, Shift, 6x control shift 6x we know if we want to go if we want to go to our, our router 3 we just click r3 we are on router 3 go back to our xx server control shift 6x control shift 6x Thank you for watching and see you next time.